Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Coming through. <laughs> Press. Very important person right here. <laughs> We're so fucking winded. <laughs> the hill destroyed us. <laughs> So at this point, our first mission was to find the media suite. We'd gotten an email about the badges, and that included information on where to find this media suite, and we desperately needed somewhere to put our bags down. Uh, we did not know at this time how fucking hard it would be to actually get in there, uh, but you'll see that coming up here in just a few seconds. Matt's in there. We're currently trying to figure out where the media suite is. Me and Luke are standing outside and guarding the door. Is that all we're at right now? And I, we, we were given a chewy bar. I don't know what Matt wanted me to do with this. I think he wants us all to share it. Yeah, so we'll get the video of all Stay those. tuned for that yeah. on the OnlyFans. <laughs> so we'd finally gotten in touch with John, the leader of media at MTAC, gained access to the suite, and then nearly immediately found out that he needed to leave to go mediate a panel. So we had to rely on the kindness of our friend Taylor, Recycled Can, to hold on to our bags like the good friend that she is. Problem for her. We're just gonna then leave it with one of the, the dealers. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, they do. Shows what I care about. <laughs> it's like, oh, cosplay this. Food? <laughs> For little dudes, I've been telling people that this one is magical space flavor. Mm, I love that. Next up was the opening ceremonies for Tech. None of the employees at the con knew that they were about to have to speak on stage, so I'm sure that was fun for them. This year's scrumptious offering of guests included a great lineup, including Kyle McCarley. None like Joshua, Maren Miller, It's King Chris, AJ Beckles, Anaris Quinones, Amanda Miller, and Bo Billingsley. And Grant, we know him from GameStop. And then we decided to take a much needed break. Big Nation, back on the big tour, five feet away from where we originally were. Let's go. Our first panel at MTAC was to sit down with Bo Billingsley, who would answer questions about his life and say some crazy shit. So yeah, I the, the, the rock from the urination. That was, a, that was a thing. And also I had a side of me with a dog. Nobody's recording this either. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. It was a side of me with a dog, and it was a chihuahua. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of uh, the bow panel? It's actually pretty good. Dog side of me. Yeah, that it was good though. I I liked it. Uh, he he definitely he went. He seemed miffed that we left a little bit, yeah. But I mean, we have other things to fill. We're I, I've, we're the only people I've seen with a the camera. The only people that have press passes. I've seen no one else with a press pass. So like. Maybe that's how we got in. Dude, they're, they're like, like holy shit, somebody applied for the press pass? We, we show people these press passes, and they're immediately like, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> for real. It has been like, free reign to just go off. Dude, let's interview these guys. Hey, uh, yeah, guys, can I get an interview with House of like Hearts? <laughs> What's your favorite anime? <laughs> Fuck. All right, boys. So we just got done listening to our intro to our podcast. It's crazy. They sent it to us while we were walking down the hill to refill our cups at the con. And Matt held it up to his ear for one second, and he immediately tripped over himself, and his hair was standing on end. So we had to run down to the car, hop in, connect to the Bluetooth, and listen to it. And oh my god, it's fucking amazing. I filmed a little bit. <laughs> Oh, it's so sick! Holy oh shit. my gosh. Dude. Next, we went to the dealer room with one goal in mind. What are we looking for, BJ? Manhunt 2 on the Wii. <laughs> we actually have a larger selection. I think this is technically a 
No Manhunt 2. No Manhunt 2. Damn. Michael, are the PS1 games over there? They were indeed. And BJ found some accessory. <laughs> this was Lee, our favorite NPC at the con. And he was a traveling DM, and so he showed us his awesome costume. Yeah, so my costume, I guess, is a traveling DM. And it's a little bit more than just a costume, so I tried to bring a little bit of fun to it. So the way that my brain worked was let me create one of four characters you could choose from, pick two friends, pick two strangers, um, and run one of three battles that maybe last around four to five rounds. Okay. Or, or if you're feeling froggy, you know, we can go 1v1, 2v2 in the arena. Love that. We'll set the stage for you. You have just a really, really basic version of uh, 5e. And yeah, that's my costume. That's cool. uh, what I'm trying to bring to the event. So if you guys are bored, uh, we'll be here all weekend. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Just hanging out. So the con had quite a few scheduled photo shoots lined up, and by far the biggest one was the Mario photo shoot. We were the only people there with an actual camera, so everyone kind of just defaulted to us as the uh, default photographers. After this, we decided to check out the Embassy Suites to see the analog and digital gaming rooms and see our buddies Ben and Grant. <laughs> if you played Yakuza, you fight Outrun. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> So we missed our Uber Eats order. Yeah. And we're we're getting on a bus to go get it. <laughs> Which is a sentence that I don't think anybody's ever said before. Hey, people have gone further to get less food, okay? That's true. I paid that lady a hundred dollars that one time. And I got my parking pass. So we're gonna grab the car, bring it back over here to the other hotel. of the night taking forever to uh to get our food i sent it to the wrong hotel but i had to carry three large drinks and we got free alcohol and we got free alcohol so definitely a highlight oh there's dev Are you going to the so yeah Oh, 
Luke. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, the worst to this day is everybody. After we'd had fun with dinner and playing some games, we decided to head back to the other hotel to check out the musical guest. And Jesus Christ, was that something else? Music got no sexy sins to confess in the pews. It got no, got no drugs and it got no tattoos. And when it goes to heaven, it may see some angels with boobs. But when another T Rex shows her boobs, he has to refuse. Because a T Rex is so pure, it'll never be seduced. Now the Lord may be forgiving, but one thing he won't excuse. Let me iterate the point again and show up. This is what anime does to me. <laughs> you almost throw up. I burps. Come on, pussy. Fuck you. <laughs> Can't do it. You got a little liquid carriage. <laughs> Big one. Yes. I can already see the pain. And we got free hugs. Lock it down the hatch. I can't feel things anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you have to walk back. Just hammered it up now. <laughs> then for our last event of the day, we went to check out the Otaku Ball. After the ball, it was time for me to go to bed and the boys to go home. So here's the next day. BJ, how tired are you? Yeah, I'm pretty tired <laughs> and also hungover. <laughs> next up, we had our first uh, event of the day, which was the full guest panel, which was really not fair to say because only two people spoke. And one of those people didn't even show up to interviews. <laughs> While we were waiting for our interview with Kyle, we decided to check out the K-pop dance room, I guess you would call it, uh, and we were actually pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Next up was our interview with Kyle McCarley. Uh, you might know him from Nier Automata as 9S or Iron Blooded Orphans as Mikazuki, the kid with the gun. Of, uh, of all the roles you've had like throughout your entire career, which one have you felt like the most connected to? Like the one character that, whether it be a, something in your life that like made the performance better or just the character's story, like what, what I mean, has it been? I, I, I like the way that you phrased this question as opposed to which character is your favorite character because that's always like trying to pick your favorite child. But uh, I, I have felt, I've felt a strong connection with a lot of different roles that I've played over my career. I think I've, I've got to say that uh, the one that I, I, I think I've got to go with 9S from, from Near Automata. And again, I'm super thrilled to be able to. We don't have enough time in this video to show the full interview, but if you want to see the full thing, you can find those links down in the description of this video for our Spotify or the YouTube video accompanying it. 
After that, we met up with our other favorite person from the con, Lee, who ran our own private D&D session where all three of us were characters in the arena. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Slicing him completely in half. The sick, and you see milk spilling oh, out yeah. of the belly from what he was about to attack with. Uh, one wizard down. Um, and again, since we're kind of back in top round, what I will say is the walls still continue. Uh, Leonidas' decision and push you closer to that barbarian. Um, After that, we were done being professional for the day, so it was time to let loose. Saturday. Evening now. Time to start drinking again, baby. <laughs> oh, oh. No ticket. Let's fucking go. Not towed this year. Fuck yeah. Did this have another year? Yes. Okay. You got your car towed? Well, it was it wasn't my car. My car was the car that saved our asses because I was parked out there. But both Devony and our friend Nathan got towed because they didn't tell us anything about parking passes and they parked on the lot, even though we did have a room for two days. Damn. So they got fucked on that. They told him to take the wizard staff. They, they said the staff shall not pass. He shall not pass. <laughs> And after catching the tail end of the cosplay contest, Luke and I were headed home, and BJ was going to the rave. And that's a wrap. MTAC's over, baby. Good MTAC. We're tired. We're beat. Just not hanging out with BJ. He's doing something else. He's going to the rave. Maybe he'll uh, get his new footage. Up. Anyways, but... MTAC was good. It was full, fun, and great. We will. I am an ambulance. And as always, take it sleazy.